How's it going, gang? Daniel here with the Cascade Card Wranglers, and today we have something super spicy for you guys. Today we open the Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Box. Ladies and gentlemen, it is pre-release time, and the goodies are flowing. Um, I'm excited to get into this. Uh, had to pretty much uh, ask for this since there's such a shortage. Some stores are just not giving them out this week and waiting to... Uh, to fulfill uh, once the restock comes in. But before we get started, uh, I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming and checking out the channel. It means a lot to us. Uh, if you do like what we do here at the Cascade Card Wranglers, please feel free to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe below. So, excuse me, don't forget to subscribe below so you can get updated on the latest and greatest videos that we put out. So, without further ado, let's get into this box. So, Disclaimers as always. Um, not gonna put the uh, you know, not gonna put the pricing in today because the pricing is just wackadoodle. Um, as we all know, when pre-releases start, uh, it it the the prices take about a month to basically normalize. Um, so let's talk about the booster box or the collector booster box. First of all, we're going to have two non-foil expeditions, which we will open last. So let's put these up here all the way up there. Let's not forget about them. And then we have 12 of these packs. Ooh, this is beautiful. Man, can't wait for this. And, uh, the, um... The box itself, I, I do like. I did like the M21 box a bit better with that silver. That silver was beautiful. Um, but without further ado, let's get into our first Zendikar collector box, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All right. So I'm not quite sure what the... Uh, I'm going into this blind, so I don't know prices. I don't know what's the best. I know that expedition, foil expedition, costs a lot, but we're gonna go through the commons here very quickly and just enjoy the artwork. Attended healers are uncommon. Vast wood fortification for our first modal DFC, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. We have a foil mountain. And our first extended art rare, Tabarax Hope's Demise. Very nice. Our normal Skyclave Apparition rare. Kazandu Nectar Pot for our showcase common. Akum Hellhound for our next showcase common. And for our showcase rare, we got the Pylath World Sculptor. Very nice. Very nice. Followed by a foil McKindy Ox. Love this ox. Such a cool ox. And a Cargan Intimidator. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so I have a leaky fridge, and the technician just stopped by, so I had to open the door. Um, I was supposed to get a phone call, but didn't get a phone call. Heads up, and he just showed up at the door. So, um, I did not show you the... We got through everything here. Um, the ox was the last thing. I No, the ox wasn't the last thing. The, uh, the uh, Cargan Intimidator, it was the last uh, actual card as the showcase. Um, not showcase, but the... Uh, the box stopper in foil um and then i just wanted to show you the token an illusion and a hydra all right moving forward pack number two ladies and gentlemen so let's talk about the uh the continuous problems that is happening with the uh allocation um my lgs um basically said that uh uh, cool draws, Muck Lord. Um, basically said that uh, they got they ordered over a hundred originally allocation set booster boxes, and um, they only got twenty five. Like, what's happening over here with the uh, um, 
with the delays and all that, it's getting worse and worse, guys. Uh, Brush Fire Elemental. Silundi Vision for the modal DFC. Turns into an aisle. And we have a Swampy. Very nice full art swamp. We have Cargan Intimidator, the non foil version. We just got it in the box topper version. Akiri Fearless Voyager. A core warrior. Very nice. She is, I believe she's in the uh, in the trailer. And we got a Brushfire Elemental for the showcase uncommon common slot. We got another Skyclave Geopede. Whoa. Love these showcases. Love the diamonds here. And we've got a Felidar Retreat as our first uh, showcase rare. Uh, all the showcases have landfall on them, so every card that has landfall is a showcase. And then we have a common uh, showcase foil, the McKindy Ox again, followed by a Crag Plate Baleth. Baleth. 6-6. Six, six. And a Cat Beast token. And an Insect token. Wow, these tokens are pretty. Um... So anyways, I hope you guys are getting all the goodies today. Uh, we're going to be opening some pre-release boxes as well here shortly. I uh, wanted to get the big the big hitters out first. Um, and then all throughout this week and next week, we'll be opening all the product out there. Uh, set boosters, draft boosters, collectors. We'll take a look at the commander stuff. Um, and uh, we'll just keep opening as Zendikar Rising releases here in the next week. Um, so, Chook Chook, Rubble Fork, Murasa, Sproutling, oh god, these are hard to, to pronounce, I'm not gonna lie, Lol Mage's Domination, another Swamp, a Master of Winds, this card has some speculation around it, I read a little bit about it, we have Yasharn the Imp. Implacable Earth? Implacable Earth? Yasharn the Implacable Earth. It's the Elemental Boar. I love that art. The freaking Tree Boar. <laughs> Alright. And we've got Prowling Felidar. Very nice showcase. We got a little bit of a straggler there. We've got the Canyon Jerboa. And the good old Lotus Cobra for the showcase uh, rare. Very nice. Very nice. One of the first cards that was uh, teased. Skyclave Pickaxe for the Showcase Artifact Equipment. And Leyline Tyrant for the Box Topper. Um, speculation on this card too. I believe this is one of the bigger hits here. So, uh, First Mythic. Very nice. <clears throat> Angel Warrior. And an Insect. Let's just make sure we didn't miss any other Mythics. They've all been rares. So, in three packs, we have two or three packs. Three packs, we have one mythic. Interesting. All right, let's get this going. And Sneaking Guide, Zulaport Duelist, Expedition Skulker, Cliffhaven Kite Sail, Akum Hellhound. Relic Amulet, another modal DFC, um, double phase card, Bala Ged Recovery, show the back, very nice, can't wait to play with these modal DFCs, an island, very cool, Just gonna hold a little bit of weight to it, Skyclave Apparition, Valakut Exploration for the regular rare we've got territorial scythe cat showcase we've got the fearless fledgling oh my goodness america everybody right the hat's cool and then a mythic morag fury of akum very nice showcase mythic very cool and a common Showcase Spitfire Lagak. Followed by 
a turn timber symbiosis look at this ladies and gentlemen woo wee very nice modal dfc over here it turns into a land turns into a shocky land for three life but that's really cool third mythic ladies and gentlemen and an illusion followed by a copy moving on All right, and negate practice tactics to Juru Blightblade, Seagate Banneret, Scale the Heights, Law Mage is familiar, Skyclave Cleric for the modal DFC. Woo wee! Look at that art very nice this is just spectacular the presentation here i really am digging this set and another island look at that whirlpool oh jeez. we got a tazri beacon of unity the extended art non-foil very nice mythic number four and shatter skull charger for the rare the regular rare we have territorial scythe cat and mckinney ox these will be pretty common and we have our first pathway ladies and gentlemen it's not foil it's the branch loft pathway so the green land with a white uh boulder loft pathway in the back very cool our first pathway six all together akum hellhound and zareth the other um Extended art box topper, nice. The other um, main character in the trailer, Zareth, gets uh, sort of like uh, petrified. Um, and Nahiri then freaks out and turns on Nahiri, who then Nahiri basically, this is part of her uh, cat and goblin construct. Very nice. All right, moving on. And you know what I'm not? Uh, no, I'm seeing it, guys. I'm seeing it, guys. You see the line? We've got the, got the goddamn line. They can't get their stuff together after, what, Throne, Theros, Coria, M21. This is the fifth box, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it together. Might of Murasa. Cunning Geyser Mage. Geyser Mage? Skyclave Sentinel. Vanquish the Weak. Thundering Rebuke. Canyon Jerboa. Very nice. It's a mousy. We've got a Plains. Beautiful. And a Nimble Trap Finder for the first non-foil extended art. Master of the Winds. Normal version. We've got the Spitfire Lagak. We've got the Menkindi Ox. Menkindi Ox, excuse me. And we have the Kazandu Mammoth. For the showcase double uh, modal DFC, sorry. Then the Kazundu Valley as well. Very nice. In showcase form. And we have Territorial Scythecat, followed by Kaza the Royal Chaser. Very nice. Just flying on his staff as our box topper. And we have an Angel Warrior and a Goblin Construct. So far, no expeditions, ladies and gentlemen. Supposed to show in one of every six packs. Hopefully we get one here today, maybe two. But we are officially past the halfway point. Fissure Wizard. Tazim Royal Mage. Oblivion's Hunger. McKindy Ox, normal version. That ox is absolutely fat in the, in the, in the showcase version, jeez. Uh, Glacial Grasp. We've got Lithoform Blight. Rock Slide Sorcerer. We have a Plains. And our first rare is Legion Angel. Non foil extended art. And the Jace Mirror Mage normal foil card. The pack foil card. Very nice. Our first Planeswalker coming out with a Fury. 
Jace Mirror Mage with that kicker. Super cool. So five mythics. We've got the Sky Skyclave Squid. The Ruin Crab, both showcase. And then we got the Sky Skyclave Shade. Very cool. I haven't seen this card. Wonder wonder it's speculation. Followed by Prowling Felidar. And Tabarax Hopes Demise for the box stopper. Very nice. Followed by a core warrior and an insect. Moving on. Five packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, plenty of more stuff to see. Remember, we have the expeditions still, the non foil ones Molten Blast, Seafloor Stalker, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Territorial Scythe Cat. Bubble Snare. <laughs> Bubble Snare. And Iridescent Horn Beetle for the first uncommon. Followed by Wind Rider Wizard for the second uncommon. We have a nice full art foil showcase. Or not showcase, but foil uh, land. It's a little faded here. And our first um, extended art is Throne of McKindy. A land followed by the Archpriest of Ionia very cool our two common on common showcase Kazandu and Nectar Pot and Skyclave Squid followed by the Valakut Exploration once again although I don't know if we got the showcase one and a Brushfire Elemental for the foil uncommon showcase card and we have a mythic Spire Garden for our first expedition. Oh man, I do not think that this is one of the big hits. It's the uh, um, is the uh, conspiracy one, maybe unless you have two or more opponents. Um, but nonetheless, very cool. We'll put that one to the side too because it's a mythic and a cat hydra token. Very nice. Four packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Four packs to go. Oh, and this one did not... I did not open cleanly. Sorry about that, guys. Wasting our precious time here. All right. Expedition Healer. Every time I'm done rolling, I, uh... I, uh... Work, at, work out at a gym where I, uh... I roll and, um do striking as well every time i finish rolling that's what i look like someone has to heal me guys uh dauntless survivor that's me in 20 years when i'm homeless cleric of chill depths very chill as day nine said with that big lollipop <laughs> I recommend you go see his uh review of all the cards expedition champion with the weird sword spare supplies and journey to oblivion for the first uncommon weird art it's like someone just ripped through a fake wall <laughs> oh god and spike field hazard for our modal dfc turns into spike field cave very nice forest and wayward guide beast for our first non-foil extended art Mall of the Skyclaves for the regular rare. Showcase Akum Hellhound. Good doggy. And Canopy Baleth. Followed by Jace Mirror Mage. Oh man. Uh, the non foil, but the borderless extended art. Very, or excuse me, the borderless card. Very nice. So we double tap Jace here. Uh, we have the Canopy Baleth again. And wow. We have our first foil pathway, the Crag Crown Pathway, double or a modal DFC turns into a Timber Crown Pathway. You get to choose which side you put down, basically, which is really cool. This is uh, that holds a little bit of money there. Again, prices are unstable until a month from now, at least. Drake and a plant. All right, three three packs left, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, I'm going a little bit slower here just to um, enjoy the cards, enjoy the new, enjoy the new set. Uh, Resolute Strike, Namana Skitter Sneak, Risen Riptide, Sizzling Barrage, Dauntless Unity, Moss Pit Skeleton. Malakir Rebirth for the modal double DF or modal DFC, sorry. Malakir Meyer is the other side, followed by a mountain and a turn timber symbiosis. We already got this one. Uh, I don't think, yeah, we got this one in foil. So we have the extended art foil version. Serpentine Wood, very nice. All right, followed by a Seagate Restoration. Whoa. Another. Um, modal DFC Seagate Reborn very nice look at these mythics man Coom Hellhound Canyon Jerboa and the rare clear pathway non foil clear water pathway still very cool remember modal DFC over here so it taps for or you can put either side on when you cast it Merc Water pathway so that's a Demir halfway in a way giving you the demir colors dreadworm and the rare is thieving skydiver very nice for the box stopper core warrior and a plant coming on in the last two packs ladies and gentlemen um be sure to hit the like button and feel free to subscribe if you like what we do here um, hoping that you guys are having an awesome time looking at these cards first look here on pre-release weekend look at that it's not a printer line, it's like a stamp line. Still on those tokens. Fire Classic Hellion. Shell Shield. Blood Price. Feed the Swarm. Rabid Bite. Veteran Adventure. Skyclave Plunder. And the Mountain. And first non foil extended art Inscription of Insight. Very nice. We've got another pathway. Whoa, this time a pack pathway. River Glide pathway for a blue. And on the other side, a red for the Izzet Colors. Lava Glide pathway. Very cool in foil, too. Prowling Felidar. First common on common showcase. Dreadworm, second. We've got a rare. The Crag Crown pathway. Wow, we're getting a lot of pathways here. And then. So this taps for the Timber Crown. And the Crag Crown Pathway. So this is the Gruel Land. Uh, Skyclave Geopede with a Mythic. Misty, holy crap. Okay, so. Oh, guys. So we all know the fetch lands, but wow, I think this one is the fetch land to have. Correct me if I'm wrong down at the bottom. But uh, I'm not going to put prices up, but I saw this well over $100 foil. Holy moly, mamacita. We got one. Misty Rainforest. Wow. Wow. Very nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in a sleeve as soon as we're done here. Angel Warrior. Construct. And for our last pack... Let's go ahead and say last pack magic, baby. Thank you very much for uh, joining me on this ride. And let's see what Lady Luck has for us on this last box or pack. Smite the Monstrous. Synchronized Spellcraft. Hagger Constrictor. Expedition Diviner. Skyclave Squid. Scion of the Swarm. Skyclave Geopede. And our last full art land is a forest with the Ondu Inversion, double modal DFC, modal DFC, not double modal, an Ondu Sky Ruins for the land. Very cool. A Hagra Mauling, modal DFC again, and a Hagra Root Pit. Wow, we are just getting all the modal DFCs here. Spitfire Lagak. Skyclave pickaxe into a rare. The Bright Climb Pathway. Wow. Lots of lands. Non foil, of course. And that on the back is Grim Climb Pathway. Very nice. 
And a Skyclave Squid. And our last is a Mythic. Holy crap! Cavern of... <laughs> Three damn foil expeditions. Holy hell! Ding, ding, ding. Wow! Wow! Over $100 right now, of course. We cannot know what the prices are yet. But wow! And a cat beast plant token holy mamacita three i believe so right three one two and three yeah three expeditions three foil expeditions oh nice and two of them i believe are heavy hitters two of them are heavy hitters ladies and gentlemen holy hell Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Mythics, 11 Mythics, oh my god. And now we have the two Expedition Box Toppers. Let's go, let's go baby, now I'm pumped. Now I am pumped to see what the heck we're gonna get. And our first one, Celestial Colonnade, very cool, wow, very nice. Oh man shaking right now because these are great hits and the second one last opening of the day here last card if i can open it and what's it gonna be come on dan don't mess it up and Wooded Foothills, wow, for the other fetch land. Oh my goodness, very nice, very nice. Overall, I think we've scored huge on this, huge. Look at these hits, 10 myth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 mythics, 11 mythics, ladies and gentlemen, just from the box and then the two box toppers. I think this box, aside from Omnath, I think we've got a killer box. So thank you very much for coming with me and joining me on this journey. I hope you like it. There's going to be more openings of collector boxes, more openings of set booster boxes, more openings of draft booster boxes, and everything's on the car rising in the next couple of weeks. Enjoy your pre-release weekend. Remember, hug somebody. Well, don't hug somebody out there now, but um, virtually hug someone out there now and make sure that um, you guys stay safe and healthy. This is Daniel with the Cascade Card Wranglers signing off. And you have an excellent weekend.